Hello everyone and welcome to this episode. So today I want to talk to you guys about how to make changes in your business. So um, this is going to be a very short one. Hopefully I always say that but <clears throat> it doesn't always end up being short. So I'm trying to keep this under five minutes. So let's go into it. Okay, so I want to talk to you about how to make changes in your business. So maybe you are struggling to make changes in your business. Um, maybe you want to stop baking and you want to change to an entirely different business or maybe you want to transition into doing a different style of baking um, perhaps you are trying to you know move out of your home kitchen into a new a whole different new space or you are trying to move from a bank that you've always been using for the longest time and you want to you know all of a sudden move to a different bank <clears throat> whatever um, shape your change might look like whatever form it might take i'm just here to give you that little bit of motivation to go ahead and take the changes or to affect the changes that are needed in your business so first of all i want you to remember that making a change whatever form or shape it might take in your business is not an easy deal it's always um something that involves thinking it's something that involves um, really critical decision making sometimes you have to be fast <clears throat> which means uh, you need to look at the timing that you have to do this particular decision and um, it can be critical as well in a sense that if you don't take that decision at the time that you should then it might affect your business um, in one or the other way so I want to share with you one of the changes that I had to do in my business. Now, this is not my baking business that I'm particularly going to be sharing with you guys, but it's it relates more to my content business, right? So for you guys that have been following me for some time now, you know that I'm a baking business coach and I also own a baking business. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, as part of the baking um, coaching business, we made a lot of decisions when it comes to where we are spending our time and how exactly that affects our business and our results, okay? Um, and some of where we were spending our time on social media, and I know social media is a big thing, like you have to be consistent with social media. When it comes to these YouTube videos that I'm putting out, I have to be consistent and all that. We had to then choose the best platforms that relate to us in the business and <clears throat> excuse me, the platforms that would give us the best return on investment based on the goals that we've set out for ourselves for the next five years. So basically, we said that um, some of the platforms that we are using are really not giving us a return on investment based on the goals that we have. So we want to reach more people, we want to impact more people, and we also want to get engagement from people, which means that we basically want to ensure that whatever it is that we are producing is getting engagement. People are giving us feedback or they are watching, they're clicking or they're viewing or they're opening the emails that we are sending them. And when we measured our when we took a look at our, our stats and our dashboards in different platforms that we're using, we really noticed that, you know, um, some platforms were really just not giving us our, the best ROI. And we were putting in money, we were paying for labor, you know, we, we were paying people to do this, we were paying for subscriptions. And then we said, okay, fine, I think like, for me personally, I don't think that you should be investing in something that is not giving you something out, like you're not getting anything out. So why should you be investing in that? So we decided to drop some platforms, for example, right now, now, um, <clears throat> Um, we've dropped the Facebook group and I know that was like a very painful decision for me because that was the very first social media platform that we started to engage home bakers to really just get them to interact with us, our brand, to get to know us and for us to share what we have, to share our knowledge basically. So some of what we do is we have a free cake pricing guide and we had like a big list of bakers resources that we gave out for free. And some other coaches are selling this, um, this information and they are like literally people are buying it. But but then we were giving it out for free for the love of it, right? Um, and we decided, okay, I think we can still make an impact um, in people's lives by giving out free content. But if people are continuously getting free content from us, then we are not building a relationship, a coaching relationship, because we are in a business relationship where we are teaching these people value for money that they should not be giving out their cakes for free. But then why should we be doing that same thing? We should not be discounting our work. So why should we be doing that same thing? So it was contrary to what we were teaching at Esther's Baking Academy. And so we dropped the concept of the free resources library. And the only free resource that we are currently giving out is actually 
the the Cape pricing guide. So that is the only free resources uh, resource um, that we are basically giving out. Okay, so in your business, you might be doing a couple of things that are either taking your time or your money. You might be buying sprinkles that you are not using immediately, or you might be buying and putting or tying up your money in, you know, some stock or supplies that you're not really using, like cookie cutters and some really elaborate molds and cookie molds and all these things. And, um, you know, if there's something that you want to change, you want to increase the income that you're get getting, you want to change in terms of the savings that you have, you want to change in terms of the amount of money that you invest in your business, you want to change in terms of your productivity levels, or you want to change in terms of um, the impact that your business has on your personal life. Maybe you want to improve your wellness or you want to take care of yourself better because you are not able to do that because you are running a full-time home bakery. Whatever change it might be, I want you to really sit down and go back to the objectives. What is the main um, reason why you started this? And I call that your why. I have a short, a very short um uh, um, how do I call it a short course on your why that helps you to establish why you started everything and then helps you to uh, craft a strategy for your baking business I'm going to leave a link to that in the description of this video um, and so I want you to think about your why why did you start this and where are you going in whatever it is that you're doing in your business is it pointing to where you are going or are you just doing things because you want to get things done whatever it is I want you to think about your why what is the reason why you started the cake business what is the reason why you started what you are doing why did you start social media you started social media so that you can just share pictures or did you start social media so you can get visible to more clients in your area right so whatever your why is you need to go back to your why and then you need to craft objectives and goals for your business for the next at least two years right so that you can have that vision you need to cast that vision for your business so here I said I was gonna keep this under five minutes and I'm over that mark but then at the end of the day what I wanted to teach you um, in today's short session was really just to affect the changes that you need to so that you can reach the goals that you are looking to reach within the next year, two years or whatever it is and know your why because knowing your why will help you to get to where you want to be at the end of the day. So that is it from me for now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.